I'm gonna show you how I get in bed from my point of view, through my eyes, as if, you know, you're in my head. First, you know, you get a little bit of filtered water, just in case you get thirsty and need to take your medicine in the middle of the night. I have a nice cup holder on the side of my bed. And, I mean, what else can I say? I've seen a lot of transfer videos, but uh, none of them from a first person perspective, so. Instead of outside looking in, you're inside looking out. I hope you enjoy it. Um, the reason I'm putting it out here is because for the people out there who don't currently do this, I know it's overwhelming to think that this is even possible, but it is. And I just want you to see, you know, through my view that it is possible. And I just want you to take the time to imagine you doing this yourself. Because with enough work and practice, you can do it. I use an overhead lift and a sling. It's pretty straightforward. Right here, I take and lift my leg up and I set my foot on top of my calf rest and it keeps my leg up for me so I can pull the sling underneath. It makes it pretty easy. It gives it something to rest on so I'm not having to hold the whole weight of my leg the entire time. Once you have the sling underneath and cross, I just pick up my seatbelt because if I back up it pinches under the wheel, kind of stops me cold in my tracks. So turn the fan on, make sure I don't get hot. And where would I be without my cripper? Not living on my own, I could tell you that. Well, maybe I would be, but it'd be a lot more work. And that's just a chuck pad, in case I have any incidents. It doesn't end up messing up my bed, I don't have to change my sheets, I can just throw the chuck away and put a new one on there. Saves a lot of hassle. Now, this is just a little basket, it's kind of like a little, maybe uh, for the kitchen, keep the uh, wash rags in it maybe a bottle of Windex, but I keep all my supplies in it. I got that from a good friend of mine, Chris. He gave me the idea to use a basket to keep everything in. I keep meds, the remote control for my light and my fan, and of course my MP3 player. Plugging in the chair is pretty straightforward. You just lift my armrest up, slide right in the controller, so there's not too much difficulty there. The lift is mounted to the ceiling, rides along a track, Four buttons, up, down, left, and right. Can't get much easier than that. And for those who don't have the strength to transfer manually with your arms, or you don't have the balance, this is a perfect way for you to get in and out of bed. It is a little on the expensive side. Luckily, uh, vocational rehab may be able to cover it for you, or brain and spinal cord. Now when I go to let myself down right here, you can't really see, but I take my my hand and I push on each calf and straighten my leg out so they go out straight because I'm wearing my shoes right now and they stick to the sheets so my feet don't slide down the bed very well at all. And the reason I'm still wearing my shoes is I keep them in a bag. That way when I go to get up in the morning, they're easy to reach and I just put them on from bed. It's a lot easier for me to do that while I'm in bed versus trying to put them on in my chair. And that string, I just pull on that, turns the lift on and off. I tied an extension to it with a little loop. And it's hard to see, but I just set the basket on top of my armrest and it stays there for the rest of the night.
I get spasms, but not as bad as some people get. I mean, some nights, of course, are worse than others, but for the most part, I don't have really bad spasms, and it's not too much of a headache to deal with them. They're usually pretty short-lived. The sling is incredibly easy to use with a little bit of practice. When you first get it, it's a little clunky, you're a little off balance trying to put it on, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty much a breeze. And of course my mp3 player is sitting there because I have to jam out to music while I'm doing this. And this is just a little eco bag I got from a farmer's market, and both of my shoes fit in there perfect. And I just toss them in the chair beside the bed, that way when I go to grab them the next morning, super easy. Both at the same time, grab them, pull them right into bed with me. I'm ready to put them on. Now, I wasn't planning on filming myself this day, so I just kind of threw a rag, so I kind of had to uh, censor part of that out. But no worries. Now, the part you just saw is it just a hinge, a door hinge from Lowe's with two hooks on it. I hang my leg back on it at night and it allows me to swing it over the side of the bed and I let it drain into a one gallon container. When I get up in the morning I just empty the container, bleach it out and then I'm good to go. When it comes to the pants, I usually just fold them back out straight and drape them across my armrest for the next day. I forgot I was kind of in a hurry so I forgot to get my second pair out for the next day so I'm going to have to reuse these. But no worries, it's not like I kick around in the dirt often. Now I keep my pillows and my blankets on a little table next to the bed. I use this big pillow to elevate my legs at night to help them drain and some of the swelling to go down that occurs during the day. Now it's pretty easy, I just push it down to the end of my legs, pull, pull each one up by the knee and toss it on top of the pillow making sure that my heels are hanging off at the end. That way I don't get any pressure spots on my heels. Then it's just a matter of putting the small divider pillow in between my feet to make sure they don't point at each other in and keep my legs rotated. Unfold my blanket, cover myself up, and I'm good to go. And of course this is the part of the video where I challenge everyone to push your limits, disabled or not. Because you'll find the harder you push, the farther you'll go, and when you get there and you look back, you're going to realize it is going to every bit of frustration and aggravation that you go through to achieve a goal. doesn't matter what it is. Start small, work your way up, and challenge every aspect of your life. Because you can do it if you really want to. You will find a way that works for you. As always, thanks for watching.